Hey, welcome back. Are you ready? It is time to start meeting the new generation of friends. <gasps> Big breath. Okay, so 2023 complete reboot of the Lego Friends line. This is the first of these sets that I'm opening up. This was sent to me by Lego. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> So exciting. So this set holds three of the new eight Friends characters, one of the old Friends characters that we know so well all grown up. So, well, let's talk about the logistics of this set first. There are 853 pieces. It's called Autumn's House, which I may have forgotten to mention. It's $119 here in Australia. Even the boxes are different now. We don't have that little uh, kind of angled divot out of the side. Um, the colour scheme's entirely different. We've got a brand new logo and we still have these poke poke pull bits to open it up which I'm not terribly keen on but actually that was really easy to open up seems like the glue seems to be less intense nice all right so we've got the box open tip it out oh I was kind of not I was expecting that we might be seeing some of the paper bags that Lego's been promising us for what like almost two years now so no paper bags yet but I can't say I'm terribly sorry because I do like being able to see it's really a visceral feeling of being able to see the Lego pieces through the bag so I'm gonna miss that when we go to paper bags anyway I think this is new this is like a string like a light string but it's now bendy yeah, okay, well look at that when it's time to actually put it onto the build. So the instruction book is in its own little dedicated cardboard mailer, which is fabulous. Keeps the instructions nice and neat. One sheet of stickers. Oh my goodness, I just love these stickers. I love this one with the little mountain. It's not a mountain, with the sunset thing with the pine trees. And our instruction book, just one nice big Whopper Chopper instruction book. I also like that too, because lots and lots of little ones, you tend to just lose them. Now sage green pages, I don't know... Is that new? Is that a new colour? It's really pretty. And here we go. Oh my goodness, we've got Autumn here as one of our brand new characters. Little cartoons there just kind of show some of her interests. <gasps> new little foal called Peanut. Oh, this is a, like the map. So Autumn's house is here. This is where Alia's house is going to be and Leah's house is going to be here. we got a heart lake. we got the heart lake. So it's kind of a river around. So it's not a lake anymore. It's, I don't know. That's confusing. We've got a river around the heart shape now. Just having a look, flipping to the back to see if we've got anything else new in here. we got advertisements for more sets, which are going to be building all of the new characters, which we're going to be meeting piece by piece. Speaking of pieces, that's all the pieces. All right, so lovely. This is lovely. Let's get on. Let's meet the characters. Okay, so first up, you remember, we're going to build Mia first because... I mean, I say, you remember Mia like it was so long ago that we last saw Mia? It was only like a week ago. So Mia is now all grown up. She has, she's, she's a mum. This is her current mum outfit. She's got a nice orange cardi. Still got her lightning bolt necklace. Her face is missing its freckles. Hold on, Mia had freckles. Do they just fall off when you get old? I don't think so. Do freckles just fall off when you get old? <laughs> no, they don't. They do not. And she's got a plait. She's got mum hair now. Oh, Mia. Look at you. Oh, it's Mia. It's a mum. Mama Mia. Yeah, okay. I get that. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, let's see what Autumn looks like in her physical form. She's got sage green pants. Still got the creepy ear feet. Mia doesn't have the creepy ear feet. I love her boots. It's like she's got little brown socks peeking up over the top of her nice sensible boots. Love her shirt so much with a, I think it's a little fox, a little fox logo. And you may notice that she's missing part of her arm. According to the description, Autumn was born with a limb difference. So Lego Friends is including a whole heap of visible and invisible disabilities in this new line. It's going to be really exciting. Oh yeah, to just, just to have all of this unfold. Her face is so cool. I love her bushy eyebrows. Love the freckles. Like she's got, she, she took Mia's freckles. She's got her own freckles and stole her mum's too. That's a bit rude. <laughs> They're so cool. I would love to see freckles all over her torso because often, you know, if you are freckled, you are often freckled all over. Now her hair piece absolutely gorgeous. It's got a little messy plait down the back. What is that hole there? The accessory hole is just weirdly positioned. I am glad to see that there are still accessory holes. Oh and for those of you who are interested this hair piece is hard plastic now not rubbery like the previous set of Lego friends. Now she also has a foal called peanut. Found a peanut. I think the yeah, I think the foal is the same. yeah the foal is the same mold as before, but this little brush is ingenious. So we've got the little handhold thing and this kind of black bristly thing, which has been used as a tiny hairpiece before in the past in Lego. But this is just so such a good brush build. How good is that? 
I love that. It's the tiny things. It's the tiny things that just bring me so much delight. So autumn, we've got Peanut the Fall and she's got a really cool brush. Now we've got two more of the new friends cast included in this set. So we're going to have a look at them. So we've got Leo, one of three boys. He's got, he's got his creepy ear feet underneath too. Yellow cargo, long cargo pants, terribly printed shoes. <laughs> his top, I feel as though we've seen this design before with the hoodie around the back, but I mean, who has a short sleeved hoodie? <laughs> it's just a bit bizarre. Anyway, I really do like the vibrancy of the colors. He's got some beach designs on the front of the shirt. His face. Oh my gosh, I just love his eyebrows. How much character do eyebrows bring to a face? I love his face print and his hair. We've seen this hair piece before. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. The Rex Danger Vest hair piece from the Lego movie. Yeah, but it's so it just suits him so perfectly. Like as a cohesive whole, he's a fantastic new little mini doll. I just love him. He's so cool. <laughs> Leo can go and hang out up here with the other two while we check out the last mini doll included in this set. By the way, these all didn't come in the same bag. I've stolen them out of the different bags that they've all come in. This is Alia or Aaliyah. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. I know we'll find out later on, but at the moment I'm calling her Alia because I think that might be right. She's got the new skin tone that was introduced last year, which is the medium brown. And I just love her outfit. She's got a little horse print on the front as a badger. Is it like a little dragon head? And all like, like little, little pockets on the sides. Is it a dragon head or is it a horse? <laughs> I don't, I'm assuming it's horse, I suppose. I, I'm gonna assume she's a little bit horse obsessed or dragon obsessed, we're gonna find out. Once again, her eyebrows are a little bit more tailored than the other two, but they're, they're much more, they're much thicker than we've seen in the past. And the character that they add is insane. It's so good. Her hairpiece, speaking of so good too, is just gorgeous. It's so detailed and very modern, like very on trend current. It's got little tiny braids pulling back uh, on one side, just spinning her around. It's not even symmetrical. And I just love that detail because the front fringe bit is floofed up and over a bit. It's a bit higher on that side too. It just looks fantastic. The asymmetricality of it, which is a word I've just made up, looks, yeah, it is, the, it, <laughs> lost for words, started making them up. There is also a brand new dog mold. It's so exciting, so much new stuff. I don't know what breed of dog Daisy here is supposed to be. Got little floofers under the arm, got a little floofer tail, kind of a medium to large size dog comparatively to the Lego dogs that we've seen before. She's so cute, but she's not too cutesy either. Just, yeah, all right. So these are all the characters in the set. Four mini dolls, two animals. There's actually a third little bird, but it's just a normal generic bird. So here we go. Some of our new cast take a picture, pop them up on my pin board, and let's get started building this brand new set, Autumn's House. So the first of the new range, the new range, the new <laughs> brand of Lego friends, I'm gonna assume we're gonna be getting a house for each of the eight new characters, hopefully one each year. Oh, it'd be so good if we got one each year because I mean, if you've been here for a while, you know that building houses is my favorite thing, especially when you can you know mix them up and basically little Lego dolls houses. I love it so much. But this is obviously not the house. This is one of the external builds. This is a tiny stable for Peanut, for Peanut. <laughs> Such a cute name. First of the stickers to go on, horseshoe at the top of the tiny, tiny stable. And the whole of Autumn's house has been themed for one particular season for autumn. Surprise! So pumpkins growing all over the place. I love it so much. A little yellow uh, leaf um, hanging, hanging, fallen down, stuck here on the side of the stable. Got a bottle for feeding the foal and a rake for cleaning up all of the things you have to clean up when you own a horse. All of the horse poops. Right, so we have got a little stable now for Peanut. It's all perfectly parked away. So now we get started on the house and the rest of the build is all the house. The only external part is the tiny stable. So here we go. Front steps, uh, grass on either side. Got We've got a substantial amount of foundational building to go on here, but it's all interesting. So we have the lattice fencing things right down the bottom, which is actually the raised foundation of the house. So to let air in underneath the house is really cool. So this is actually, it's not the easiest of builds. It's Got, a, got quite a lot of substance to it. Looks so pretty though. So we've got our base floor on here. We've got a grass bit out the front, got our stairs up the very middle and a little bit of autumnal foliage going on. These are gonna be the uprights for the front 
part of the, the veranda for the posts on the veranda. So we need four of them. So they're going to be the base there. Yep. And on one side, get a little bit of fencing. You call it fencing? <laughs> railings, railings. And some more nice autumnal foliage. So pretty. But on the other side, just some nice random foliage and another pumpkin up here just hanging out on hanging out on the deck i love the fact that it's not symmetrical it's so much more interesting to look at and it's much more interesting to build too Sym symmetrical builds are a lot easier i just like a little bit of challenge here so we've got steps going down into the living area a chicken mat here <laughs> <laughs> the front entryway. Love it. Tick kiss and chickens. And then over on the side that is kind of poking out of the rest, over on this side, we've got a chimney. No, we've got a little fireplace. Actually, we might have a chimney. I suppose if we have a fireplace, we're going to need a chimney. Got a claw next to it. And over here, the front walling, there's not a lot of room back here, though. The front of the house is the same size as the back of the house, like the living area of the house. It's gonna be interesting. All right, so this is what we have left at the end of bag number one. We're up to bag number two. Let's see what, yeah, we're working on the inside now. So fireplace, that's in the wrong spot. Move that over one. This is, I mean, this is, what, what am I trying to say here? This is not a simple build. This is reasonably intricate. I've actually, I've built creator expert sets that are, you know, similarly, complex this is yeah don't go into this thinking it's going to be an easy build but it is a very fun build and on the mantelpiece is a flat screen tv which seems like a bad place to put a tv because heat rises right away but there's a spade for cleaning out the fireplace and then front walls these are detailed including with stickers that add details mia and stephanie at their graduation look at that where are the rest of the girls i don't know but only mia and stephanie got <laughs> pictures together on there actually I suppose that might be university graduation rather than high school graduation I don't know I'm making assumptions now I just don't know so this goes over here and then on the middle part we've got a couple of windows in turquoise and yellow which seem like obscene colors but they just look really good together and then another piece of walling with another sticker which has got a family photo of Mia and Autumn in it no sign of a you know of a partner to help me around with the parenting it's really hard work doing single parenting but no clue as to who autumn's other parent might be as yet so you know mia might be single parenting okay so we got some nice mint walling going up bright yellow door which brings me so much joy with some wood yeah with some wood detailing on down the bottom swirly silver doorknob all of these colors together should look horrifying, but they're actually surprisingly cohesive and really, really cheerful. This whole build is bringing me so much joy and not just because we've got new characters and new lives to explore. So on the other side, we've got the same sort of wall detailing going on, same sort of windows just to balance out the other side. And these are the uprights for the front porch. <laughs> this is so good. There's so much usable space here on the front porch too. It'd be cool to put a little chair out here to sit out and enjoy the cool breeze, watch the folks go past. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely to relax on an autumnal evening, an autumnal evening, an autumnal evening. Not that we experience much of autumn where I live. All right, round the back, got a teeny tiny little lamp, cute little bowl upside down as the shade for the lamp. And now, so this tiny area over on the left hand side is actually the living area, obviously, because we got a TV in there. Got, got a couch in the most obscure of colors, but they look really nice together. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? So we got coral and we've got orange and yellow and we've got those bumpy seats, which are, yeah, you can fit two characters on here, but I just don't know how successfully they're going to stay on. I mean, Mia's not. Autumn's shorts, actually, like the little bottoms of them actually catch nicely in the grooves between those two, between those two, two bumps, but... Mia's, yeah, she's gonna have to hold on to the side, I think. Anyway, let's uh, let's install this couch. So it goes over here. This is so crammed and cluttered, like the usage of the available space. <laughs> really using it well. I guess my big tick of approval. We've got a little table, coffee table, with a phone and a basket on here. Oh, we need like a little ball of wool. This needs to be like a wool basket for, okay, I need to, 
Yeah, I got a 3D printer for Christmas. I need to learn how to use it properly. I want to print a little ball of wool with an anti-stud on the inside. Okay, I'm on it. I've got so many ideas of what I want to do with this 3D printer. I just need to learn how to uh, use it <laughs> and design my own stuff too. That's really important. So this is what we have at the end of bag number two. Oh, hold on. Those, <laughs> those little yellow studs, they were supposed to be the feet of the couch. So let's... uh. Let's whack this couch out, put it back together again, and give it some feet. And that's going to give it just a little bit more height, because when I popped the mini dolls in before, they kind of didn't fit very effectively. So now they should... I mean, that's the sort of detail that Lego pays attention to. Now they fit. Look at that. That... Oh, perfect. Like I bought one. Like it was planned that way when it was actually supposed to be put together correctly. Yeah, okay. So bag number three. Here we go. We've got the smallest little living area. This is the bag that Leo came in. So, but he doesn't come with any accessories, which is fine. I mean, they don't need accessories. We got enough accessories inside the house. Now over here on the other side of the door, doing this teeny tiny tiling. I love this. I mean, this is so fiddly. This is not the sort of stuff that I'm used to seeing in a Lego friend set. This is more complex and I am loving it. The detail is so good. So we've got a sink here. So this is going to be the kitchen area. More light green and dark green tiling. That looks so nice. Really nice color scheme there. And next to it is going to be a little bench top, I assume. A little bench top, more tiling in front of that. And then, I mean, this is such a small space, but apparently we're going to be fitting this brand new fridge piece into it. This is really useful. So a cabinety kind of style. It's brand new. It's so good. And we're going to be able to put stuff in this fridge, which is before was not something that was really very functional. Stickers on the, well, they're not stuck on there. Magneted stuff onto the st stickers of magnets. <laughs> <laughs> photos on the front of the fridge. There's an A for Autumn, an M for Mia. Who might the G be for? Hmm. Is there a hidden a hidden message there? Maybe G is Autumn's other parent. Mm. Okay, but we do have three shelves in here that we can, the door doesn't open terribly effectively, but it opens enough. In the fridge we can fit some milk. This is so fun. This is so much now like a much more detailed doll's house than we've been able to effectively do before. So we've got some milk, got some cheese. Keeps me happy. Would keep Emma happy when she comes over to visit. <laughs> Autumn's Auntie Emma. That's so nice. And this is a little green drink thing. And then on this sage green piece or the sand green piece, we've got a couple of eggs, a little carton of eggs. And they can then go on the... Yeah, that goes next to the milk. Can fit so much stuff in here now. This is such a fantastic new piece. I love it. Okay, wall going on on this side. And what else can we fit in here? It's actually not entirely cluttered yet, but we're putting an oven in. So the oven has got a sticker on the front. I've seen this sticker before, but I mean, it's such an effective little sticker to depict an oven front. So yeah, reuse it. This goes over here on these little green jumper studs. Oh, it tucks back into the wall so perfectly. And then in this front bit just one more little bit of bench top and a hook to hold a token spoon just do one spoon your stirring spoon it's a spoon holder for when you're working at the at the cooktop oh so good and we even have a buildable range hood how good is the detail in this so we've got a couple of clips on either side of the range hood putting a frying pan in one don't know what we put on the other side it's just currently empty Mia I can't I can't stick her on a stud at the moment so she keeps falling over so this is we've got a goblin we've got a got a bowl got, we're turning the goblet kind of into a trophy I, <laughs> I've seen this design before when we put a bone on the top and had it as a dog bone trophy but now it's a mixer so it's a new design for a mixer it goes on the bench top so good oh my goodness it's so packed out so nifty and so small I love it <laughs> I love it so much okay Putting some supports and structure in on the top to head up to the next floor. It doesn't look like the next floor is going to be detachable. So this whole design is going to be one nice, cohesive, strong piece. Yeah, lot, very, lots of strong. Lots of strong happening. Got the next floor on and the bottom floor looks so good. My goodness, let's get Mia out here. It's a bit, bit hard to get her in. It is a very pokey little area to try and get your fingers in. But there we go. She's in. 
greeting us at the front door. All right, we are leaving this build here for now. We are halfway through. There is so much more good stuff to see and interesting designs and furniture and Autumn's house to finish. So we're going to enjoy it. We're going to take our time. All right, check back in because that next part of the build will go up very soon. We'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.